Hello everyone, this is Julie Jordan Scott and we are here at Park in Bakersfield. Welcome replay viewers, welcome live viewers. We are here for poetry and writing prompts in the park and I'm adjusting my hair. I apologize for that. How unprofessional of me. <laughs> anyway, it's good to be here today. It's been kind of a rough day or two. <laughs> Yesterday Robert Frost got cut off mid-poem. Can you imagine cutting off Robert Frost? Actually, I don't think I even started, but um, so just so you know, we'll be back with Robert Frost. I'm going to give you a bonus on, I believe, Friday, or maybe I'll come in on Saturday. I'll let you know. Hi, good to see you. Today's poet is Anna Sphere. I think I'm saying her name correctly. She was the only daughter of an impoverished painter from Warsaw, Poland. She's Polish. Um, her translator is Malosh. I can't, don't know how to pronounce his first name, if any of you are Polish out there and you know how to pronounce the first name of the poet Melosh, I'd love to hear from you because I would love to get the pronunciation of his name right. Thank you from all, for all the hearts, by the way. Now, I'm going to give, the, give you the writing prompt first because this poem is about someone taking the, the speaker's hand. Uh, it's about someone taking the speaker's hand. So I want you to think about who is waiting to take your hand? And your writing prompt is simply to write to them. Who is waiting to take your hand? Write to them. Huh, that can be metaphorically taking your hand. It can be actually taking your hand. You can play with that in all different ways. So, who is waiting to take your hand? And then write to them, or for now, just think about it. Think about who that might be and listen to these words of Anna Swear. Walking to your place for a love feast, I saw, I saw at a street corner an old beggar woman. I took her hand, I kissed her delicate cheek. We talked, she was the same inside as I am, from the same kind. I sensed this instantly as a dog knows by scent another dog. I gave her money. I could not part from her. After all, one who needs someone is always close. And then I no longer knew while I was walking to your place. That is The Same Inside by Anna Sweer, which I will read again. Welcome, my friend, my poet friend. The prompt is, who is wake waiting to take your hand? So um, Anna Sweer, the poet, talks about one who needs someone. So think about that. Who is someone you encounter who needs someone? Perhaps you is that someone. And perhaps this poem is your invitation to reach out to someone else's hand. So consider that with a prompt today. Who is waiting to take your hand? Or whose hand are you waiting to take? Write to that person, even if that person you're writing to is yourself. Take some time today to write to that person. The Same Inside by Anna Sawyer. Walking to your place for a love feast, I saw at a street corner an old beggar woman. I took her hand, kissed her delicate cheek. We talked. She was the same inside as I am from the same kind. I sensed this instantly, as a dog knows by scent another dog. I gave her money. I could not part from her. After all, one who needs someone is always close. And then I no longer knew while I was walking to your place. The prompt again, who is waiting to take your hand? Write to that person. The world and this person is waiting for your words. That's what inspires me to do my work. My name is Julie Jordan Scott and I inspire artistic rebirth. It's what I'm all about. That's why I do Poetry at the Park, to inspire you. So I'm sitting here at Heritage Park in the middle of the day in Bakersfield, California. I hear a siren. 
always makes me wonder who that siren is going to. Is it an ambulance? Is it, is a person hurt? And then I think in this context that we are in and the poem we have just read, is there someone needing to take that person's hand? Is there someone out there in this incident that needs words spoken to them or written to them? Or what would it be for that person to get a letter, to get a poem? That's why I do this work. The world is waiting for your words, and it is such a privilege to be a part of that discovery and uncovery with you every day, Monday through Friday, about 12.15 Pacific time. Glad you're here. Please follow me if you don't already. I'm not seeing comments. I'm using a new, um, a new device. So if you're saying comments and I'm not responding, I'm so very sorry. So the final time to the prompt, who is waiting to take your hand? Write to them. If you're just coming in, please, write, please watch the replay to be inspired, to write, to create, to think differently. I am so blessed that you're here. Thank you as always for all the hearts. And you do know, I hope, that, um, that I truly enjoy every moment with you. <laughs> I'm trying to get the... Okay, there we go. <laughs> I truly enjoy every minute with you. The silly ones, the serious ones, the ones in between. So please come again. Also of note, if you, if, you look, if you like stuff like this, I'll be coming back in just a few minutes with a quick scope about a quote that I'm working with today from Anne Mara Lindbergh. Here it is. I want, first of all, to be at peace with myself. And Mara Lindbergh is one of my favorite literary grannies. And throughout the day, I'll be writing from her. She's also on my Instagram. There's a picture inspired by her. So if you're not on my Instagram, my name there is Julie Jordan Scott, just like here, but with an extra T on the end. Look out for that and look tomorrow. And then the bonus on probably Saturday of Robert Frost. Enjoy the rest of your day.